Okay, I'm gonna begin by asking, I mean, obviously this is a, a reboot of a, of a successful franchise. I mean, is it quite a challenge to play a role that's been done before? Because I suppose in some ways you want to kind of appease the established fans, but at the same time offer something completely unique and, and kind of fresh on the, on the character. Yeah, I mean, I suppose everything we do, we can't help but do it in our own way. So, you know, I did, that was a priority for me to appease the fans and, and you know, represent the franchise in, in a way similar to or with the key points that you'd previously seen. But from there, no, there was, that was never a worry. It was always just about, you know, living it myself and living it honestly and, and, and enjoying it. And did you, did you speak to, to Jason Statham at all in, in, term, when, in your preparation for the role, just to hear his kind of, his thoughts on the character? No, I really wanted to. I actually reached out to, to him, but wasn't able to. Um, and um, I really look forward to, to meeting him and shaking his hand and, you know, passing the, the, the baton on um, respectfully. So what can sort of fans of, of the Transporter franchise expect from this from this reboot? Is it is it quite a similar kind of tone? What, what, what is it? How kind of different is it? Well, I think they can expect all of the, 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 the fun stuff that they'd seen before in terms of the cars, the girls, the fights and, and all of that stuff and some quite preposterous things <laughs> happening in it as well. And the one-liners, let's not forget that. But um, what I really wanted to bring and, and, and I really focus on all the time is just the emotion, you know? Also, um, wanted to kind of approach it in a way that not necessarily how you'd think of a sort of dashing hero. I kind of wanted to play it more like sort of downtrodden, sort of almost more villain than, than hero in a sense. Um, it was definitely social outcast to a point, but you know, I think the relationship with my dad in it is interesting and something that they hadn't seen before with Ray Stevenson, who's a top bloke and a fantastic actor. And I love that part of it, you know, that's the side of the movie I'm really enjoying is, uh, you know, the stuff with me and Ray, you know. Yeah. And you were saying before that he's all, that you approach him as a kind of hero and villain in some regards, because in, in the film, Frank keeps kind of hurting innocent people. So he goes to the hospital and he obviously wants to try and get through. And this guy's like, have you got your badge? Which is just guys just doing his job. Yeah. And he just smashes his head on the table. Yeah, it was not nice. Uh, did you? Would you? Did he go back and apologise? Is that like a deleted scene or <laughs> deleted scene? <laughs> he went back and apologised, gave him a hug. Oh. Everyone got a hug afterwards. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, and uh, I mean there are some incredible set pieces. The one I loved the most was that kind of Jackie Chan esque fight with the with yeah. all the drawers coming out. I mean it's the choreography was incredible. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I was just wondering how much kind of practice that you sort of put into that, and also. How good is it to learn these kind of skills, in this instance, martial arts skills? Because mm -hmm. they could set you in really kind of good stead and open up more sort of opportunities in the future. Yeah, definitely in terms of opportunities. But, you know, more for me is just, you know, it helps, it empowers me. You know, it's empowering to learn things, you know, to come on day zero or whatever and, and, and not know something. Then by the end of it, I've learned all of these skills. You know, it's a wonderful thing. that In life, all we can try and do is become better human beings and better at our jobs and better at everything. And, 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 and you know, that's the 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 beautiful thing about this job and you know to learn those things was humbling and empowering at the same time um that set piece with the drawers is definitely my favorite scene as well i love it that wasn't in the script we didn't shoot that right. we came back two months later <clears throat> and shot that in cité de cinema in um paris with luke besson and i think that was luke's idea you know he's a what more would, would you expect any less from the, the, the genius that is Luke Besson? And uh, I love that scene, you know. It kind of reminded me of The Raid and The Raid 2 and stuff. Yeah. And that was two, two martial arts movies that have really resonated with me in the last, um, in the last couple of years. Because yeah, I mean, what followed that, that scene was obviously, a, I'm not going to give anything away, but a great kind of scene involving an aeroplane and a car. Mm -hmm. um, are you a good driver in real life? Do you like to drive? I'm all right. I'm chill. Yeah. I'm chill. I drive slowly. You know, I drive <laughs> calm and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a road rage man. And... I drive calmly. Uh, yeah, I'm. 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 I'm it's. It's. Uh, I don't drive like the transporter. It's <laughs> probably a good thing. Um, of course, I mean Deadpool is is one that everyone is mightily excited about. Uh, what well, can we expect to see your character's story explored kind of further? Is it quite faithful to, to what we see in the comic books where Ajax is confirmed? Yeah, it's concerned. faithful in terms of the, the the beginning part of of, of Ajax when he was in the workshop. Uh, fans of the comics. Um, will know that later on he comes back with an all singing, all dancing, big shiny suit. We didn't, we haven't explored that section. This is the first section. Um, so we're faithful in that sense. But I mean, the movie is predominantly about Deadpool um, and uh, is all the better for it because he's such an incredible character and uh, unique, iconic character. And um, I think it's really great to have, you know, you've got all of these 
these these comedic geniuses in, in in Ryan Reynolds and T.J. Miller, but then you know, Ajax and myself are we're kind of, I'm the straight guy to their funny guy, you know. So it's a, I think it's a a nice combination and, and a nice mix, a nice chemistry and dynamic. I mean, I was wondering as well. I mean, the the trailer looks really. I mean, it looks quite like a daring movie, like a superhero movie I've never seen before. Yeah. I mean, are you are you quite excited about it being uh, released just to see how it's going to be received and marketed? Because it's quite yeah, it's quite different to what we're yeah. used to. The marketing, especially, you know, they've already done great jobs with with all the stuff they did with um, Mario Lopez, AC Slater, and even the the teaser to the teaser trailer was hilarious, you know. And um, they've got great ideas. And what's so unique is that a character like Deadpool, you can do so much fun stuff with. Whereas you have other characters like, you know, maybe Wolverine or, um, you know, or let's say Fantastic Four, even the Avengers, where if you take, if you put them in silly situations with Mario Lopez, you've immediately taken them out of their reality. Whereas Deadpool exists in this wonderful place in between the Marvel Universe and reality. He knows he's in a comic, you know, so there's this wonderful world of possibility, of endless possibilities with marketing Deadpool. And I'm excited for people to see. I'm really excited for the fans of Deadpool to see it. I know that there will be comic book fans that have never heard of him that, that, that are going to enjoy it and other people that are going to enjoy it, but really, we made this for the fans and I can't wait for the fans to see it. <clears throat> and just finally, I mean, obviously it's, it's quite sort of well publicised when mm -hmm. you sort of decided to leave Game of Thrones and I was just wondering, I mean, now you've obviously heading up the Transporter franchise, you're in Deadpool, do you think that almost vindicates the decision in a sense that it's allowed you perhaps to spread your wings a bit and is it, can it be quite freeing not to be tied down to, to a series that requires a yeah. couple of months every year at least? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the freedom side of it is, is, is definitely something that's important. You know, there's so many interesting projects that keep coming up all the time, whether they're independent art house films or, or studio blockbusters as such that come along that are so interesting, you know, and that if you're under contract, it is difficult, you know. Um, I would have loved to have done both. I would have loved to have stayed and carried on and, you know, uh, in many ways, uh, you know, I would have loved to, I wouldn't, I didn't want to leave, you know, in a lot of ways, but, you know, I, um, I, 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 uh, I'm really happy with, with where I am today, you know, and, um, I'm happy with the, 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 the way I've got, the path I've taken to get here was, um, you know, I wouldn't be here without that path. So I'm, 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 I'm thankful for today. And, and so, um, I don't look back to yesterday too much. Or, or too far forward either. So, yeah, it's all good. And I was, I was lucky to be a part of it. It's a great show. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's much thank appreciated. You. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!